Welcome to Module Legends. Hello everyone. This is your science module for the first quarter with the title You Changed My Life. Heat energy, or also called thermal energy, is produced from the temperature of the heated material. The energy that comes from the temperature of the heated material is called thermal energy. Heat is produced when energy is transformed. It can be measured by using a thermometer. So usually when we talk about heat or inet, it is very easy to identify it using the temperature. So examples of heat energy includes electrical stoves, campfires, a grill, the sun, and a hot cup of coffee. It is a transfer of energy from a warmer object to a colder object. We have studied that there are two changes in matter. Changes could be a physical change and a chemical change. When we say chemical change, it is a change in material that results in the formation of a new substance. So, pag na chemical change tayo, there is a new substance being formed. Here are some examples of chemical changes. Okay. Presence of oxygen may bring a chemical change. An example is oxidation and decomposition. Oxygen is in the air that surrounds us. Some fruits like apple, mango, and some root crops like sweet potato have enzymes which when combined with water gives it a brown color, a sign of food spoilage. So, napansin natin, di ba, when apples are being cut into half, and the flesh is being exposed after a few minutes, merong discoloration na nagaganap. So, this is caused by uh, oxidation or exposure of the flesh of an apple to oxygen in the air. Another is decomposition. So, decomposition is also brought about by uh, exposure to oxygen. A change in color is due to exposure of oxygen. So, there is chemical change in the presence of oxygen. Okay, another uh, change brought by oxygen is rusting and combustion. Okay, um, when we say combustion, it is the scientific word for burning, which needs, according to the fire triangle, it needs oxygen, heat, and fuel. Let's remember na kapag may isang substance dito sa tatlong to na not available, it is not possible for a chemical reaction or for combustion to happen. So, presence of oxygen is needed for combustion. And when we say rusting, it is formed by the reaction of iron and oxygen. So, we usually put some paint on irons para ma-prolong yung pagkakaroon niya ng kalawang or rusting. Okay. Absence of oxygen. There is, an, there is also an effect kung wala namang oxygen na available. Okay, hello everyone. So, we will be doing a small activity um, for the absence of oxygen. So, we will be needing a candle. So, ilal and two jars. Big and a small jar. So, we will check kung gaano katagal magla-light out ang candle uh, with these two jars. So, kung gaano kalaki yung jar, more likely, ganun karami yung uh, oxygen surface na meron siya. So, titignan natin kung may epekto ba uh, yung oxygen level sa tagal kung kailan mamamatay yung candle. 
So we have the lighted candle. So we will start the timer once na natakpan na siya ng jar. So we will start with the small jar. Okay, timer pagka nag-start na siya ha. And timer starts now. Up. Okay. Now we will move to the bigger jar. Timer will start once na natakpan na siya. And start. And lights out. Based on our short activity, tapansin natin na yung candle when covered with a jar, nagkakaroon ng absence of oxygen. Eventually, will make the lights off. Bigger jar has longer time bago mag-shut off o mamatay yung candlelight compared sa smaller jar. This is due to oxygen content na meron sa surface ng jar bago siya itakip sa candle. Okay. Application of heat. So, when we use heat or when we apply heat, there are two uh, changes in matter that may happen. It may fall into physical change or pwede rin siyang chemical change. So, take a look on, on the pictures here. So, some of them will fall on the physical change and some of them will be on chemical change. Okay, for application of heat, um, melting ice, drying of clothes, and changing solid to gas falls into physical change. Why? Because there is no new substance being formed. But when heat is applied to the following, um, heating sugar, burning of paper, and burning match stick, it falls now into chemical change. Why? There is no, uh, there is a new substance being formed. So, mapapansin natin from its original form, after nang i-apply yung heat, there is a new substance being formed. Hindi na natin siya pwedeng ibalik sa dati. Okay? Yung paper, mag-turn na siya into ash. Yung matchstick, hindi na siya pwedeng sindihan ulit kasi wala na yung original form niya. Heat can cause chemical changes when the composition of the product is altered. Okay, chemical changes are irreversible because new products formed are different from the original materials. So, hindi na natin sila pwedeng ibalik sa dati. So, application of heat, again, will fall into physical or chemical. Physical, if wala namang substance na bagong nabuo. Chemical, if there's a new substance and hindi mo na siya pwedeng ibalik sa dati. Okay, now this one, melting candle will fall into uh, two types of changes. It could be physical or chemical, okay? In burning candle, there are both physical and chemical changes. The melting of the solid wax to form liquid wax, so yung pagkatunaw niya, and the evaporation of liquid wax to form wax vapor are all physical changes. So, yung pagkatunan ng candle, it's more likely of a physical change. Now, the burning of wax vapor, vapor is a chemical change. Once na nag-liquidize na siya and yung vapor na yon is being burned, yun na yung pinaka-chemical change niya. So, si burning candle will fall into two types of changes. Merong nag-physical change sa kanya, and meron ding nag-chemical change. Okay. Now, uh, let's remember that lahat matter around us will, will come into change. Okay? So, yung changes ng matter na yon will affect every one of us. And these are some of the effects of these changes. So, we have global warming. 
Global warming occurs when carbon dioxide and other air pollutants and greenhouse gases are trapped in the atmosphere. These gases warm our atmosphere by converting solar infrared radiation into heat energy. So when we say global warming, it is the abnormal heat being trapped in the Earth's surface. So hindi nakakalabas yung init na yon brought by gases, brought by air pollutants. So eventually, si global warming will take negative effects on Earth. Next, we have pollution. So, there are different kinds of pollution. It could be uh, soil pollution, water pollution, and air pollution. But pollution are harmful materials created by human activity or natural phenomenon. More likely, pollution are caused by human. Okay? So, it with this pollution, it contaminates water, it contaminates soil, it contaminates air. And these contaminants are very harmful into all living organisms, including human, animals, and plants. Next, Kaingin system. Kaingin system is a mean of clearing, clearing a forest by cutting down trees and burning. Okay, for cultivation purposes. So, this system is being practiced in many parts of the world. So, there's a reason why, bakit nagkakaingin ang, merong kaingin system. But, whatever it is, um, there is a negative effect on, on Earth. Okay, there is a negative effect on the Earth's surface, on the Earth's atmosphere, and to humans as well. Next, incineration. Incineration is the process of destroying something, especially waste material by burning. Burning of plastic waste is one of the most uh, prominent uh, examples of incineration. So, you, because of the abundance of plastic waste on earth, um, some people falls down into this process. So, dahil nga, ang plastic, plastic is forever. One way na para matanggal si plastic is by burning them. But, let's remember that when we burn plastic, okay, there is a bad effect on earth, on human's health, on animals, and on plants. We only have one planet. And more likely, if we will not take part in making this planet a healthy planet, we will all suffer from that. Okay? So, we have to protect our planet. And it says that protecting our planet starts with our own selves it starts with you there are different ways you can protect your planet we have to reduce reuse recycle that's waste management okay um we can plant a tree as a as a kid as a student you can plant a tree conserve water Okay, iwasan natin na mag-aksaya ng malilinis na tubig. Kaya nga hindi pwede, basta tapon ng lang ng tapon ng malinis na tubig. Shop wisely. Okay? Lessen the use of plastic. Don't send chemicals into our waterways. Iwasan natin lagi ang chemicals, most especially kapag ito ay dadaan sa ating water system. And use materials that are very eco-friendly or environment-friendly. Educate yourself. So, one reason why we are studying this is to educate ourselves. By means of educating ourselves, by means of knowing these things, matutulungan natin si Earth na makakope up sa mga uh, effect ng changes ng matter natin. Okay? Negative changes na, uh, negative effect ng changes ng matter natin. So, as a student, you can do any of this. You can do some of this in protecting our planet. So, that will be all for the first quarter of Science 5, Module 4 with the title, You Changed My Life.
So, till next time, goodbye!